okay but as you can see now it's working perfectly fine oh or not hello everyone today we'll do a little project where we are going to build a library for creating a progress bar without needing any external dependencies or any other libraries because sometimes you may not want to use external libraries in case you don't want to build it and you want to use something more complex it is a library that uh, offer progress bars and it's very complex and good i used it in the past and it has a lot of options here you have some examples but for today we are going to build one manually and keep the dependency as low as possible so let's get started first let me show you something for example if you print something like this and then you set the end to backslash r it's going to print it on the same line here you don't see it very well so let's do it here instead as you can see so we'll use this principle you see we only have one print here and the last one even though we had more in the code so let's build a class for this and we are going to have step as one if we want something different we may set it when initiating the function first let's do it without anything else just the equal sign so we multiply the equal sign as a string by the current value but first we have to increase the current value by step okay so it's working fine now we should verify if it's if current value is equal to max value then and should be an empty string instead so by default is backslash r and if as you can see it's working but we still have to do some things for example if current value is bigger than max value then we are going to return now let's print something else also we set the separator to nothing and then let's print an open parenthesis and the closed one so it looks better and instead of moving the last one we should have some empty spaces now it's already looking a lot better than before and as you can see it's working great now let's add some more things for example the current value and maximum value have the current value here sometimes if you cl click enter or another key you may get errors like this but that's expected anyway here is the progress so far i think it's looking pretty great not sure if it looks better with the space before or not i think this is better actually okay now it's working great for our example but let's say if we have a list of 70 elements and we iterate over it and here for example we do we do something with item then in this case it's going to stop at 70 so that is not very good for us so we should have some other parameters so we should some have some other parameters that we are going to use for this and convert them to the to an integer from 0 to 100 actually we don't need a max value for now so i'm going to delete it and the step should be calculated internally we may need current value in case we want to restart progress bar that it had uh, more than zero percent okay so let's think about how we are going to calculate the max value okay so we convert this to an integer of course it still failed because we didn't set the max value to something else okay but as you can see now it's working perfectly fine oh or not we have to round up i guess some things so we have to convert current value to an integer with the 
x value let's see now okay so now it's working but we should round up not sure if you notice but we had a small error and now it's working when we were converting the final value to an integer instead of converting them separately now there is a bug if you click enter but that happens with uh, this library too let's do one final test and see if everything is working fine okay but we should add a print here okay perfect everything is working fine so this is the final version for now in a further video we may add other things like uh, colors if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe and also like this video so i know people want to see more of this stuff thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know also let's do a one last test with a value bigger than 100 so far it seems to be working fine yes okay so everything is working fine Thank you again for watching, have a great day, bye bye. So I notice I forgot about the use case for this when the current value is set. So I had to make some changes, but they are very basic. For example, the current value is the number of steps by, multiplied by the current value. And uh, with that change, yeah, everything is working. And for testing, I set the current value to 10 and then we had to skip the first 10 results from the process list and it's uh, working fine so that's about it thank you again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day bye bye